Father, we give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for waking us up this morning to see another day. To you be all the glory, to you be all the honor, dominion, majesty, and power forever in Jesus' name. Thank you for the gift of your word that is always available for us. We thank you for your love all the time. And as we go into your word now to have a shower, give unto us this day our daily bread. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Welcome to another wonderful time with God on glorious morning shower. This is the day the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I want to welcome all our viewers, those following us every day, many of you that have taken the glorious morning shower as your devotional platform. Thank you for many of you who send message on a daily basis. I have people who send me message on a daily basis to strengthen me. Anytime they get the shower and as soon as they go through it, they appreciate me. Thank you, Pastor. The Lord is your strength. Thank you today, more grace. And as the word have an impact on you, like, share with somebody. Go on our YouTube channel, subscribe, share with people so that God can help us to reach more. This is a platform for the propagation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's a portion that he has assigned to us. And as we are faithful in this, I believe he will take us higher. The word for a shower this morning is, don't miss the morning watch. Don't miss it. Don't miss the morning watch. Exodus chapter 14 verse 24 says and it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord looked upon the host of Egyptian of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians Psalm 5 verse 3 my voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up in the morning. They say we have different prayer wash hour. But I'm very conversant with you. The night wash hour and the morning wash hour. But the one we are talking about now is that morning. Don't jump it. Don't miss it. Thank God this is the glorious morning shower and the Lord is warning you. You see, your time with God in the morning is good, very important. Many of us use the night hour for battle. When you are confronted with battle, you wake up in the night. You know, some people say, oh, between 12 to something, 2, 3 is when the demon rages. I don't know when they rages, but I know that whenever I come up in the night to pray, it's battle. But the time for God to breathe upon you, the time for God to prepare you, like I told us at the beginning of glorious morning shower, that the way a man washes his body, take his bath, perform himself if he's going for an interview, prepare himself for the day, you will not go out without brushing your teeth. You won't go out without taking a bath. Many don't go out without putting a perfume on your body. Why? So that you smell nice. So that the world can receive you. So that you can confront your day and you will be, you will be renewed. That is how it is. Ephesians chapter 5 that gave birth to glorious morning shower. He said, we, he said, by cleansing by water by the word. 
it is the word of God is a water that we use to cleanse our ourselves. So that morning wash is a time that God Himself breathed upon you, kneeling in His presence, sitting down at His feet, or standing at the place of prayer, and the presence of God. He keep breathing His presence upon you, breathing His presence upon you. Because as I'm talking to you from here now, there is a there is a force from above that is breathing upon you like air. The word of God is coming upon you. I remember a young girl that was brought to me some years ago in the ministry. He was brought from Port Harcourt and they say he was a dog girl. She doesn't know anything. So the siblings that took her to Port Harcourt got frustrated and they returned her back home. That she should just go home and just go home and uh, look for anything to do. Maybe to go and learn saddle work or to go and learn how to braid hair. So they gave up on her and they brought her home. The girl, I think she's about age 13 or 14, but, you know. And uh, I prayed with her, but something just told me that I should tell the parent, the, yes, the mother or the, the, the grandmother. To bring, keep bringing her to me. Every day we come for fellowship. Any day. Just make sure that I speak a word. And my hand upon her head. So every day we are in church. They will, she will come. Stand by me. If I'm talking to somebody. She will wait patiently. Sometimes I will be talking. My hand is on her head. You know. Constantly I will just be praying for her. The word upon her head. This head must work well correct any abnormality on this head by the power in the name of Jesus be corrected just simple prayer breathing upon her by the word and after some months they say they took her back to put her court again and she went for a holiday and they said okay let them let them try her from nowhere out of almost like is it 30 people in the class she took 10 position. They were surprised. They were surprised. I was also surprised because I believe God can do it, but the way it happened. See, breathing upon you every day have the capacity to correct everything the devil may have put over the net. So don't miss your morning watch. Don't miss that morning hour. That is when you receive instruction for the day. That is when you receive direction for the day. Every day has its own unique challenge. But God has made adequate grace available to tackle each day. And those days, those grace are distributed in the morning hour. So when you come in the afternoon, it could have finished. Don't be like Esau. Make sure you come at the right time like Jacob to get the blessing of the day. It is always distributed in the morning wash so that you don't just leave your day to chance. You don't just leave your day to anyhow. Anyhow is nothing. That's exactly what God wants to do for you today. Mark chapter 1, verse 35 to 39 is our story for today. And it's a story of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a very early in the morning. The scripture I'm giving you from this. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up and went to a solitary place where he prayed. He does that every day. Following the example of Jesus, I have always kept a solitary room in my house for the past 15 years or thereabout. 15, 14, 15 years. Many call it story room. But to me, after the message I had long time ago from Mike Murdoch, he said, I've always had a secret room. See, the room I meet with the Holy Ghost. You need it. Jesus always departs from the people. 